Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. I am on board a 2006 Maxim 2400 SC3 Sports Cully today, fitted with a Mercruiser 350 Mag, 300 horsepower, stern drive engine matched up to a Bravo 3 dual prop drive. Um, this is a boat that I have known for a long time. I've actually sold it uh, on four previous occasions. Um, so I know the boat really well. It's for sale again at the moment. Um, we're down in our local marina here at uh, Fawn on Loch Swilly in County Donegal, uh, northwest of Ireland. And uh, I just want to take a quick walk around the boat to show you the current condition that it's in. So I have made at least one, probably two, previous video tours of this, ac this exact boat. Um, there's certainly one from uh, around about six or seven years ago whenever I I sold it to a gentleman in England at that stage. Um, so I'm sure in those videos, I haven't re-watched them recently, but I'm sure I have extolled the features and benefits of this boat, you know, talked about how good the layout is, how great a size it is, what the performance is like, all that sort of stuff. So I'm not gonna bore you with all that again. I'll link that video on the listing for the current listing for the boat. Um, so you can watch that um, to see what the layout's like in more detail. This video is purely going to be about showing you the, the current condition and I'll point out any recent or current upgrades as well because there has been quite a few upgrades done to the boat since that last video tour. Um, so we'll start with a walk around the outside and then I'll go through the, uh, the features inside but it's a cracking boat. I'm really fond of this boat. Um, it's one of those ones that just keeps coming back. There's been maybe half a dozen boats that since I started the business in 2006 always seem to come back every couple, two or three years um, and I'm always delighted to get them and this is one that I that I really do like. I actually owned it myself for a while in between times as well. But we'll walk you around it now, show you what it's looking like and hopefully it'll help you to figure out whether it might be the right boat for you. So the boat, it's a wee bit windy here so hopefully the sound's not too bad. The boat has just been uh, compounded and polished around about a month ago so it's had a full compound polish valve and detail so she's looking really sharp she's got the black hull color stripe and this black accent around the, the deck at the stern as well she's got all the original badges it's the Maxim 2400 SE3 badges pop-up stainless steel cleats the hull looks really smart she's been freshly anti-foiled there before it was launched. It was, recent, it was launched there in May and this is currently the end of June so it's been in the water maybe six weeks if even um, and at the time it was launched it was compound and polished anti-foil. We have pictures of the boat and below the water line from uh, when it was just before it went in the water this season and everything below the water looks as good as it does above the water. Huge big spacious foredeck on these boats. Let's climb up here. Nice stainless steel handrails, deck hatch under the cabin. Great little anchor roller and a huge anchor locker here as well. So if you're spending an afternoon just at the anchor, on the anchor, you can easily launch and retrieve the anchor. Nav lights up there, pop up stainless steel cleats. Windscreen surround and frame is all good, no leaks or anything there. Camper covers are in good shape as well. You'll notice these different coloured bands on it. They're, they're reinforcements basically that were st stitched into the original camper hood just to reinforce the, the joints. Um, so they're slightly different colour, uh, fairly dramatically different colour, but they're, uh, they're watertight and they're doing the job, which is the main thing. As well as the camper covers, there's also a tonneau cover, a flat tonneau cover with the boat. It's got the extended swim platform. Gel coat around the swim platform is really smart. A couple of wee minor scuffs down here, but nothing major. See a couple of wee one there and wee one there. Just a few minor scuffs. Oh, and there's also one up here that I found earlier. Yeah, a couple of minor scuffs here. They're not actually through the gel. They will sand out. But that's the worst of it. Everything else looks really good. Windscreen surround. You know, there's no saltwater corrosion issues or anything there. It all looks smart. We've got the transom walkthrough on these boats, which is very popular. And then a bit harder to look at the starboard side, but it's also in very nice condition. 
I can't see any damage up along there. It was all as clean as a whistle when it was launched, as I said, just over a month ago. Very smart looking boat and the black really does suit it. We sold, uh, just sold a navy one of these. We always seem to get a, you know, there's maybe been four or five of these Maxim 2100 SE3, SE3s through our, our books in the last uh, year or so. And they're a popular seller, but the black I think looks the smartest. Under this hatch, you get a pile of storage. That's the camper covers and the original Maxim bag. There's a big wet locker, line storage locker. Pull out transom shower here. It's got the pocket there so you can store skis in there. It's long enough to accommodate skis. Rumble seat here so you can sit and put on your water skis if you're getting into the water. And then the weed locking gate there at the transom so you can keep kids and pets inside. And then an easy access into the cockpit. The condition of the interior is every bit as nice as the exterior. For an 06 boat, they really don't come much cleaner. Uh, 2006 boat, well, there's currently 296 hours on the clock, so just under 300 hours. It has been really well looked after. It's all totally original. This is all the original upholstery. It's the original covers, as I said. Um, it's the original carpets as well. This wee piece of carpet here has gone missing over the years. So that's just missing that bit of carpet. Um, the rest of the carpets are in pretty good nick. It's the, 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 these gel backed carpets, which are vastly superior to the rubber backed ones, those black rubber backed carpets disintegrate and you end up with like black dust all the way through the boat and you end up having to chuck the carpets out. The gel ones last a lot better. So the gel backed carpets in good nick. Um, it's got the wee cockpit table. There is a bunch of filler cushions. There's a filler cushion for here. So you can make that up in the sun, a full, full size sun pad there. Um, I'm pretty sure that a filler cushion goes in there as well, so you can make that up in an additional seat. Um, there's a, there might be a second table for the cockpit. I'm not sure, um, but yeah, everything's all there. Um, as I said, all the covers are good. She's nice and dry, clean, tidy. Just been validated. Um, it is ready to just turn the key and go for the season. I normally uh, leave the uh, engine access video to last, but I'm going to start here on this boat because there's a wee upgrade in here that I want to show you. So engine hatch is lifts on these two struts, it's holding itself up. You Great access around the Mercruiser 350 mag MPI, fantastic engine, 5.7 litre V8, 300 horsepower, fully fuel injected, um, pretty economical for a big V8 and it gives this boat fantastic performance, easily 50 miles an hour top end speed um, and it gets up there really quickly as well. Access down in there, just big bit of a void you could probably store stuff in there wheel manual bilge pump automatic bilge pump down in here battery isolator switch but the the thing i want to point out is the the shore power system so this was a a more recent upgrade so this system was installed within the last four or five years so you got a main incoming shore power circuit breaker there you actually plug in your shore power lead here this this point here is where you plug your shore power in so you can plug into the post at the marina you get your main incoming breaker you then got two um exterior grade 240 volt sockets there and they're this uh, uh battery charger is plugged into that socket so you've got a 10 amp master volt battery charger so um one of the previous owners would spend a long time away from the boat and he wanted to make sure his batteries were kept topped up um, so he had this system installed. So that's great. So you can, if you're in the marina, plug it into shore power. You're keeping your batteries topped up all the time. Likewise, if you're staying on board and you're running lights and stuff like that, and you're draining the batteries down, that's going to keep the batteries topped up without the engine running. And you've got a socket, a spare socket in here, and you've also got sockets in the cabin as well. So that's a nice system. Automatic fire extinguisher indicating in the green. The engine looks very original there's an extensive service history with this as well going back that over the last six or seven years it has just been serviced we bit of spare oil left, left over there brand new uh, oil filter fuel filter spark plugs all that sort of stuff has just been done within the last month as i said just before the boat was launched the batteries are fairly recent as well so nice clean tidy engine bay and a great upgrade with the shore power system and underneath this seat is a pile of storage. Let's see if 
fits in there. Nothing in there. That's access into the batteries. Oh, life boy there. But a good big storage locker for swallowing up covers and life jackets and day, day bags and all that sort of stuff. And under this locker, we have another bunch of storage and access to some other bits and bobs. So, sure power lead that's going with the boat, spare dock lines, fresh water tank, fresh water pump that feeds the transom shower and also the cockpit wet bar. And then this is another recent upgrade that was fitted within the last year. And that's actually a wee diesel heater. So that's got a heater outlet giving warm air into the cabin. So um, it's like a wee uh, night heater system. I'm not familiar with this, this actual brand or style of heater. I'm gonna have to do a wee bit of research on it, but um, I have seen them. This is the second one I've seen now in the last week. So, but it's a wee diesel part. You put your diesel in there, you fire, hit the button there and it blows out warm air into the cabin. So um, nice wee system means that if you are staying on board, you can heat the cabin before you go to bed. Or if you're just out on a colder day, you know, if, you're, if you've got the cabin heater going with the door open, you're going to get heat coming out into the cockpit as well. So that's another nice wee addition. Heading into the cabin again, it's every bit as nice as it was the last time that I sold and videoed this boat. Let's get my jacket out of the road. So all the original upholstery, all the original carpet, all in very good order. Huge big cabin in these Maxim 2400s. This is one of the big, the big selling points with these boats is although they're sports cutty and they've got great performance and you can blast along 50 miles an hour and go water skiing and stuff with them. You get a proper cutty down here that you can see there's a table that goes in here. And you could easily sit four or five adults around the table. You can sit the whole family in here. Um, and if you want to spend the night on board, you've got a huge, big, long bed here. Storage underneath all the seats. Um, just a proper, usable cuddy. So it means that you can sample the cruising lifestyle. They really are an all-rounder. You know, you can go water skiing. You can launch and recover them pretty easily. But if you want to go and spend a weekend on the water, you can as well. Um, and one of the things that helps with that is the onboard sea toilet so proper pump out sea toilet there it's a great feature to have there's your little outlet for the cabin heater so that's where your warm air blows out from we've also got uh 240 volt sockets down here so when you're plugged in the shore power you've got 240 volts so you can run hair dryers and stuff and you get little usb chargers so you can charge your, all your devices carbon oxide alarm which is working green indicator on it um what else do we have? An overhead LED light strip, which was an addition recently. And you've got the original factory lights up on the forward bulkhead beside the stereo speakers. And everything condition wise underneath here, all clean and tidy. A good bit of storage as well. So, excellent cabin, all looks very smart. Let's take you a walk around the dash now and the helm position. Helm seat, still in good order. A wee nick out of the upholstery here. I can't remember whether that was there before or not, but that's literally the worst bit of damage that I can find around any of the interior. There's a wee cockpit wet bar, your igloo cooler, which is removable. Um, and then the helm itself, nicely appointed, pretty much the same as when we would have last sold the boat. Garmin GPS map 551, which is working color chart plotter we've got a garmin vhf 100i vhf radio and then we've got a full suite of marine instruments so voltmeter we'll fire up the engine now in a minute and show you the instruments hour clock currently showing 296 you sort of get at an angle 296 hours okay so we'll fire the engine up in a second before we do that let's run through the switches horns working engine blower motor is working Bilge pump is working. That's the accessory switch to turn on the power to the Garmin's. It's working as well. Navigation lights are working. Turns on the back lights on the thing, on the instruments. Courtesy lights are, these boils here. There's one there, upgraded to LED. And that one there, LED as well. The, the LED lights have a lower battery drain and then that's your fresh water pump so you turn that on and it gives you your water 
at the sink and at the transom shower. 12 volt socket here, automatic fire extinguisher system, status monitor, and everything is working perfectly. Tilt adjust steering wheel, great visibility from the helm. There's um, very little water in the marina here at the moment, and unfortunately this marina can be tricky to get out of at low tide, so I'm not gonna take the boat out just now, but we will, uh, hopefully in the next few days, certainly within the next week, we'll take the boat out of blast and show you how it's performing underway. Can't remember, I'm pretty sure on the previous videos, you would see how the boat's running from the shore, but back then I wasn't actually doing, you know, sort of first person sea trail videos, virtual sea trails. So we will try and do a virtual sea trail on the boat as soon as we get a chance, but it's running great. Starts on the button, flies right up to 50 miles an hour. Excellent performance. Speaking of starting on the button, let's start it up here. So make sure we're in neutral, run switch in the run position. Check that the stern drive is trimmed down, which it is, the gauge shows fully down. Fully down. And because it's an MPI, just turn the key to start it. There you go. Nice and sweet. Sorry, just had to get the table out of the way. It's a lovely smooth running engine this. Um, let's uh, look at the gauges. So we got our voltmeter, showing about 12 volts. Let's put a wee rev on it here, one second. You just have to sort of do a couple of hands to do this. So you have to press this button and this button at the same time to rev up a wee, a wee fraction. So you can see that we have alternators charging. She's bringing up up to 13 volts. This is the depth sounder, so given the depth of water and feet under the keel. Temperature gauge will eventually come up to 175 or so. Rev counter is working. It's a wee bit flickery, this rev counter. See the way she's just, she hunts about a wee bit sometimes. I think it's a connection, but because they are, she's got the built-in hour clock, we, the owner was reluctant to change the, the gauge, so he wants to keep that as original as possible, but the rev counter is working after a fashion. Speedo obviously will only work when the boat's running. Oil pressure gauge is working. Trim gauge is working as we've seen, and the fuel pressure, a uh, fuel level gauge is working as well. So there you go. Lovely running engine. Starting on the button, and we will try to get her out for a proper virtual sea trail in the next week or so. So there you go, that is um, hopefully giving you a good idea of how the Maxim 2400 SE3 is currently looking. Still a beautiful boat, fabulous size of boat, great all-rounder, perfect power package with this one as well, that higher horsepower engine and the Bravo 3 drive makes a big difference to acceleration onto the plane and handling and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm sure it's going to be popular, any of these that we've advertised in the recent past, including a navy blue one that we sold literally about two weeks ago. And have flown out the door so um, not really expecting this one to be any different if you are interested in the boat please don't hesitate to give us a shout um, give me a call on the number at the top of our website or send me an email to sales at gulfstreamshop.com or fill out the callback request form on this page of our website and I'll contact you at a time it's convenient thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video I really appreciate it hope you find it useful